Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia, and today we're talking used cars. This is stock number ST242A. It's a 2016 Kia Sorento LX front-wheel drive. Let's go take a look. All right, 2016 Kia Sorento LX front-wheel drive. This is a great way to get mid-size space with a four-cylinder, good efficiency, great SUV. So uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, and keep in mind, four-cylinders of today are as powerful as six-cylinders of not that long ago. Up front, you've got projector beam headlights on the high beam and the low beam, which means those are the nice, sharp, cut-off headlights, good quality headlights. Down there, you've got a um, fog light, cool-looking grill. As you can see, it's white in color, black accents down below. Alloy wheels, of course, because every Kia Sorento has alloy wheels. We'll show you what they look like right now. Coming in here. There we go. Up top, you've got roof rails, which means if you're somebody like me who likes to kayak, you can fit extra stuff up there. Kayak, roof box, bicycles, all those kinds of things. Chrome door handles as well. Come along the backside here. Nice, good SUV look. Big spoiler up top. You know, typical stuff. Sharp looking uh, vehicle. All right, coming back out to this side again. We're going to come back to this view in a second. Right now, we're going to hop in the driver's seat. So let's do that. One thing I should point out is signal lights in the mirrors. Just kind of a nice touch, more high-end uh, vehicle type touch. Down here, you've got height adjustable seats. They are cloth, and that's what that big lever does. You can raise it up or down, so you've got good adjustability there. Tilt and telescopic wheels, so if you're sharing this car with someone else, you can easily uh, fit whether you're taller or shorter. I'm starting the car awkwardly. I'm turning the car on awkwardly with my left hand. Sorry about that. All right, we're going to go a little, little wide angle here. You can see everything here. Left side tack. Now, just uh, full disclosure, I did not turn the car to on. Or, sorry, turned the car to on, but I did not start the car because we are inside right now. Left side tack, right side speedometer. In the center, you have an information display. Let's just zoom into that again. Information display, you can see all kinds of things in there. So we'll talk about that in a second. Zip back out to wide angle. Coming across, you have sort of the do everything stereo. This was kind of a nice stereo back in the day. It had Sirius XM satellite radio and AM FM and a CD player and Bluetooth streaming. It was a great stereo. Now you don't get CD players in Sorrentos anymore. Uh, you don't often get Sirius satellite radio in them anymore unless you move uh, much higher on the trim levels. So uh, coming down here, you've got a climate control system, simple and easy to use with dials and knobs, buttons, makes it super simple. What I like to refer to as rump roasters, heated seats, three levels of uh, seat heating on driver and passenger seat. Automatic uh, transmission here in here. Hopefully they cleaned it up. They did not. That is a dirty little area. But anyways, there is a USB port, two 12 volt ports in there so you can keep your devices charged. Drive mode button down here so you can change the way the car behaves, make it drive to your liking. Scrolling across here with this wide angle camera, you can see a pretty good view of what it looks like in the passenger seat there. So you've got a nice soft touch armrest there. They are uh, leather armrests and uh, nice soft touch cloth seats here. Scrolling across, this is the five passenger model. So you can see here, you've got the 40-20-40 uh, split. We're gonna take a look at that when we get to the cargo area in a second. Coming back around to the front here, we'll just let you take a quick look around again. Kind of cool the way the line goes right across the dash there, but that's, uh, Something you can see better in person. Over here, you got steering wheel controls. We've got cruise control right here. Remember that multi-information display we talked about right there? You've got all of those controls right here. So you can change all kinds of things through there. You can have uh, that set up to see what you want. Right now, it's set to your speedometer, but all kinds of things. Fuel efficiency, lots of stuff. Down here, you've got your Bluetooth controls, audio controls. These are automatic headlights. We'll set them to auto, so they uh, turn on automatically when it gets uh, dim at night. Let's just zoom in there again. And uh, you've got, let's see if we can get the focus on there. Come on. Oh, we're having trouble. All right, let's see. Anyways, the point is you can sort of see the auto. It's out of focus, but uh, there we go. Auto right there by my thumb. Uh, so they turn on automatically when it gets dark out outside. Power windows, power locks, all the stuff you would expect on a car like this. We're going to jump out for a second. As we do that, I'm going to show you what the key looks like. So key right here. Let's get it to a little bit better lighting. There we go. So you've got uh, lock unlock. You can unlock just the trunk if that's what you want to do here. And it is a uh, jackknife style key. So if I can do this with my left hand, which I clearly cannot do well, you can see it's just the key fob in your pocket. Coming to the back side of the car, we're going to go wide angle again for a second as we open the trunk. Pop that open and you can see a nice big trunk here. Let's see if we get some light adjust. There we go. It needs to be vacuumed a little bit in there still, but again, 40, 20, 40 split. You got hockey sticks, throw that down. You can fit them through the middle. A lot of underfloor storage here as well. Because this hasn't been vacuumed out yet, I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's pretty good. Not bad. It needs to be vacuumed, but it's not too bad. So that's uh, underfloor storage there. Underfloor storage here as well. And you've also got a 12-volt port uh, over on the side right there with a little extra storage cubby right there. Let me shut this back down again. 
So there we go. I'm going to zoom back uh, in a little bit again. If you're interested in this car or any car just like it, feel free to give us a call. Phone number is 519-304-6542. You can also reach us uh, online, www.brandfordkia.ca. Easiest way to reach us is just click that link in the description. That'll take you right to our sales team. Thanks, everybody, for watching.